And now, the only comedian to work with an octopus on his head, Sean Locke. Thank you, thank you. Hi, good evening. Hi. Uh, before I start, actually, before I start, I'd just like to get a little serious issue out of the way, uh, deal with that, and then crack on, have a bit of a laugh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> now, the thing I want to talk about is a problem that affects many men. <laughs> I think you've probably gathered I'm talking about hair loss, yeah? Um, <coughs> personally, I do miss having a fringe. <laughs> Or, you know, standing on a beach with a sea breeze blowing in my face. <laughs> so wild and free. <laughs> and of course, over the years, people have tried many ways to combat this condition. There's wigs, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can always tell. But the wonderful thing about this system that I've created is you can have any hairstyle you want, you know? You don't have to worry about damage to the new hair, you know? You can have a perm. <laughs> and just shake it out. <laughs> Centre parting. Ooh, it's gone. Put a yellow rubber glove on, you're a blonde. <laughs> and you can have a lot of fun at Christmas time with relatives you haven't seen for a year. Blimey, your hair's grown. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my job, don't give a shit. <laughs> but, like all great medical breakthroughs, it does have drawbacks. I realised one of these was, uh, was if you're a sporty, active sort of bloke, you know, you play a lot of tennis or squash, you've got to concentrate, you know? Because you're going from right to left. <laughs> right to left. You've got to keep thinking the whole time. <laughs> Because if I go over to the right and my hair stays on the left, you know, partners get suspicious, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I keep this up for about two hours, actually. I don't know. It's called milking it. Um, <laughs> but actually, the major problem is if you're an older man, you know, and you, you use it, something you've got to face, it's a possibility. And that, of course, is arthritis. Thank you. Thanks. I actually, I, I do a lot of uh, amateur sort of medical research. You know, recently, I invented a pill to cure obesity. It's about that big, made of cork. You know. <laughs> lovely to be here. It's lovely to be here in Montreal. Well, I say that. I did have oh, a terrible trouble getting here tonight. I know a lot of comics say that, but I did. Oh, started out an unhappy childhood. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And then when I left school, I went to see my careers officer, and he said, what do you want to be? And I thought, well, I'd quite like to be a careers advisor. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm really good at letting people down, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> making their dreams seem like a handful of dust. Ha, 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 ha. he said, forget it, you haven't got the maths, you know. <laughs> he was good. You know, and, uh, As you would probably be relieved to hear, I'm in therapy at the moment. <laughs> I don't need it, obviously, you know. I just got all these psychiatric gift vouchers for Christmas, you know. Like, <laughs> the whole family, you know, put in. And uh, I was very disappointed. I wanted a crossbow, you know. <sighs> I've, actually, I've, had, I've had some uh, bad news recently, you know. I found out, we found out that uh, apparently my nephew, he's suffering from dyslexia. Yeah, it took a long time to diagnose it, though, because he's really stupid as well. <laughs> Life's so unfair, isn't it, you know? You think one or the other, both. Oh, <laughs> so I was trying to work out the other day, who is the most stupid man on earth? We were trying to work this out, who is the dumbest man on earth? And I realised who it is, it's actually Michael Flatley. You know, he's a very stupid man, very stupid man. Because I don't know if you know this, he's had his legs insured for $10 million, right? But he gets smacked around the head with a baseball bat, don't get a penny. <laughs> and that's going to affect your dancing, isn't it, really, you know? 
Can I have my 10 million? No, your legs are fine. You've been fantastic, thanks very much, and good night, thank you. Coming up next.